So I missed breakfast and I had to grab two boiled eggs and a piece of tuna and jarrah. That's what you get for sleeping in. My journey today would start with a 10 minute shuttle ride to the Bahir Dar airport. From there, it would be a short 30 minute flight to the holy city of Lalabella, northern Ethiopia's premier attraction. <laughs> Alright, I'm at the Bahar Dar airport and I'm ready to fly to Lalibela. We've got 20 minutes till this plane's wheels are off the ground. So I'm just here at the airport waiting for this flight to Lalibela to board. We're supposed to board at 8.15, which is just a number here in Ethiopia. Usually they board minutes before departure. Departure was at 9, it's supposed to be at 9 o'clock and it is... 902. A little bit annoying because it's going to be cutting into my sightseeing time at the Rock Healing Churches over in Lalabella. Hey, at least I got a ticket and I'm going to be heading there in a few minutes, hopefully. They just announced it. It's delayed for an indefinite amount of time, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what the problem is. All right, it's been one hour and 15 minutes with the delay. It's 10.15 in the morning. Just getting ready to board the Ethiopian Airlines flight over to Lalabella. change of plans. The flight was diverted to Addis Ababa, so that's where we are right now. Been sitting on the ground here for about 45 minutes. Not really sure what the plan is going to be, but hopefully we get to Lala Bella today. Life doesn't always bring you uh, surprises, but this is for sure a surprise. Lalabella, which is a very poor town, doesn't have a lot in the way of quality accommodations. And I just saw this one kind of on the margins of Hotels.com. These rooms are incredible. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour here. Very comfortable bed, looks extremely clean. Amazing wood carved uh, table and chairs. Really beautiful. I haven't been in here yet, so toilet, shower and the hot water tank. Extremely comfortable. Definitely going to stay here a second night. Very well pleased. It's been a kind of a horrendous day. I thought I was going to be here at 9.30 in the morning and it's almost three o'clock. So I'm going to go get my ticket for an extortionate $50 US, which is unlimited though for five days. I'm not going to use it for five days because I could not imagine spending five days in such a small town, but I will be making good use of the ticket within the next two days. Door is closed. Oh, the door is closed. Yeah. Okay. I go fast. You must have to kick. Get okay. it. Well, that day did not go at all as expected. I started with the flight delay. Got to the hotel. Pleasant surprise there. But they don't take ATM cards anywhere here, so I'm out of cash. All right, well, yesterday was quite the gong show. It was basically a write-off. By the time I got to the ticket office, it was closing. They didn't take credit card. The ATMs didn't work. So I wasn't even able to get a ticket. So quite behind today. These ATMs do not take any international cards. It'll just spit it out and reject it every time. Even if it does have the Suris or the Maestro or the MasterCard or the Visa logo, they don't work. I've never been to a country like this where no ATM worked. I've been to countries where some ATMs don't work for sure. But uh, this is on a whole different level. Uh, I might be in trouble. I got about 50 euros 
arrows left to my name. Also, some other reflections about Lalabelle. If you are adverse to beggars and people coming up to you to try to sell you a tour, I would say that they're, once you say no to them, generally speaking, they're a lot more brash and hateful, I guess is the best word to use. I was told to go back to my country because I didn't want to pay $20 for a private taxi, so whatever. Not the most friendly place in the world by any stretch, but beautiful sights. So I guess, you know, you take the abuse. I don't know. I guess that's how it is here. If you have any tips for uh, traveling Ethiopia and you've experienced the same, uh, comment below. All right, just walking along this path towards town. It is a bit of a slog. It's There's a lot of hills in this community. I'm gonna get a tuk-tuk to take me down. It's about two kilometers or so to get down to the ticket office. And this road just hugs this mountainside. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, $50 later, I finally entered the Lalabella Church Complex. There's three zones for the rock hewn churches here. There's the Western group, the Northern group, and the Southern group. I'm gonna fit in as many things as I can see before 11 o'clock when they close for lunch, and then they're open again at two. Let's go check this out. The only negative side to these churches are these hideous looking UNESCO funded canopies above them just to protect them. I guess there's a good reason to it, but it does take away from the aesthetics at least. All right, climbing through a tunnel. Looks like the rain is picking up outside though. They have now let me carry my shoes in a bag. It is raining pretty hard. Beautiful church. This is uh, Betty Marian. Really beautiful moss covered uh, rock wall here. That's the tunnel I just entered from. And um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a baptismal. It's really beautiful. It's amazing that they were able to create this. And there are some rock carved signs. Very interesting. Heading inside the church. interesting things about this site is that it is a kind of living breathing church uh, these are not only historical sites but they're being used every day for worship so you can see that there's actually very few tourists here I've only seen about three other people so far uh, that are international Bete Madhan Halem it's quite exquisite it has its column pillars with some windows etched into it and again that unsightly UNESCO canopy hanging above it
all over the place. Like even this old door, there's nothing really remarkable about a door, but my goodness, it's surrounded with moss. Just the texture of the rock, it's just a photographer's dream. And then I rock around the corner and I'm treated to this amazing view. So I just stumbled upon this cave and I'm convinced that there are burning incense inside of it. I can't see anything, it's just too dark, but uh, the smell in here is incredible. It's really cool. I'm gonna head back into the courtyard and check out some of the other churches in this group. Again, this is the Northern group. <laughs> Some very cool optical illusions here. Uh, if you walk up here, it appears you might reach some steps to head down. And you don't. You basically plummet to your death. But amazing, if you look down. I'm trying to be as careful as possible because this is pretty trippy. It's a long way down. Just beauty all around you. It's crazy that this was carved from solid rock. Really amazing place. I appear to have found the steps down, so here goes nothing, I guess. It's as trippy as ever. They're huge. These steps are about two feet tall. All right, well, false alarm, the stairs really reach nowhere, so that's pretty much it. Beautiful, though, the facade here. Intricately carved windows, looking down towards the moss. It truly is an incredible place if you have ever a chance to come out here. Hopefully, I'll be able to fit in a few more churches here before the 11 o'clock cutoff, and then it's back to my hotel because I am quickly exhausting this battery. This building right here is called the Tomb of Adam, so I'm not sure if they actually believe that Adam is buried in here, but it's called the nonetheless. All right, I'm actually inside the Tomb of Adam. And some interesting imagery here. So far, people have been pretty friendly inside. The church staff seem to be pretty accustomed to foreigners snapping photos of themselves and other things around the church. So I decided to go down to St. George to give the feet fallen in the area. So first impressions, it is way smaller than I thought it would be. All those pictures make it huge. That is a precarious drop, my goodness. I should have a guardrail up of some sort. Very cool. You can see it was carved right out of this rock. Really impressive, if you can see over here. That is just an incredibly carved church. Really cool. And it looks much bigger now that I'm at the bottom of it. The history here is incredible. 12th, 13th century church, uh, perfectly preserved. This one does not have the UNESCO uh, canopy over the top of it, so it's a bit more authentic here in situ. Uh, there's people worshipping inside, still used as a functional church. Uh, they're actually closed, so I will have to come back. That is truly an incredible sight to behold, so I'm looking forward to touring the inside of it once we open up again. We're well, just going to head back to the hotel at this point and uh, relax for the next couple hours, then I'm going to go do the southern group. We just had a beer and a lovely cup of Ethiopian coffee. It's 2.30, so I've taken my time. I met a guy from Malaysia named Tommy, and we're gonna be heading down to the southern group of churches here in the next few minutes, and checking out those three, and that'll be it for today. My name is Candy. Candy? Yes. What's your name? My name is David. David? 
David, not the devil. David. <laughs> We are at Bette Gabrielle Raphael right now. Really atmospheric place. Oh my goodness. What would they have used that for? Water, probably. Eh? Yeah, you think so? Maybe. Okay, they call this the pathway to hell, evidently. I'm covering my head with my hand and trying to film. They tell me it's straight, but this is trippy and I don't see any light whatsoever. It's absolutely nothing down here. Oh, crazy. Oh my goodness. You guys, I can't even put this into words. I might injure myself. This is really, really crazy. I'm just hugging the wall. Who knows what I'm, what's around? I'm not allowed to use the flash or my iPhone light, but I can see the light coming up there on the horizon. It's probably still too dark for the photo with the camera, but yeah, I can see it. Definitely an experience. It's been three minutes already in here. Absolutely exhilarating. Very cool experience going through that. Oh. <laughs> and I've emerged. Very cool place. So this is Bet Mercury's. Southern group. Oh, wow. I don't speak English. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then, on the side, I turned, and I saw this. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. It's a private chapel. Wow. Another precarious set of stuff here. This is the Church of the Emmanuel. I guess the all of the different churches took 24 years to build. It's a grave. Whoever you are, you're going to the grave. Yeah. Oh, so there was a crypt here that was uncovered, I guess. Oh my god. Did what is it? All right, we're going through a cave. Oh wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> I over exaggerated. You exaggerated, but it was beautiful. <laughs> Very cool. He's got a sense of humor. That's Tommy. Yeah. Small little houses built into the side of the cave. Yeah, they had really cool. Thank you, the church. Yeah. They're going to the church and then they release it to a lower. Yeah. That's cool. Very wow. beautiful houses here. Yeah. Houses. Look, at this, look, at this, look at this angle. What is his name? Suleiman, Suleiman. Abba. Abba? Abba. Good to meet you. Salam. Take you. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's this very road off, yeah. The Mount TV Hotel there. Oh, Mount Hotel. Mount yeah. TV Hotel. Very beautiful. All right, I am at the Ben Ababa. It's got a viewpoint that overlooks the entire valley, so really beautiful. Uh, you can see there's Table Mountain out that way. Our hotel is right over there. And if you fly to this side, you can see the road that comes up to town. That's a good look. This is Sisai. Sisai. He is a student. How old? Uh, what grade are you in? I'm grade uh, eight. Grade eight. Yeah. Yeah. So you're how many? I'm six, sixteen years 16 old. Sixteen years old. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go to this side just to see the valley. Pretty incredible views here. It's gonna get a bit overcast though. You really can't get a sense of the scale of this place until you're at the top of this viewpoint. Like, it is incredible. Lots of good views down to the valley below. You can see some farming activity down there. Just really beautiful views. Well, today was definitely an overwhelming success in terms of sightseeing. I was able to check out the northern group of churches as well as the southern group. If you have a chance to visit Lalabella, I would highly recommend this hotel. Now, again, there's some insects in the room, but that's probably to be expected anywhere here. Nothing like bed bugs, so don't worry about that. Just mosquitoes and moths and things like that. But the Fikir and Ray Hotel, right across, really good. The internet sucks, however, so just be prepared for that. It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes to load a web page today. Just be aware it's probably slower than dial-up speed back in the 90s. So yeah, in terms of slow internet speed, you definitely win Ethiopia. It's absolutely cool here. It's really hard to put into words just the scope of this place. Go in every direction and there's something beautiful to see, so. So this is the Ethiopian coffee ceremony. So they serve some popcorn, burn incense, and then they boil the coffee on this. Really old school. Very cool, thank you. All right, back to the hotel.